Hello my dear students are you all happy at home hope you all are happy students before starting today's class we should rewind the previous class so what is the title of the story that we are going through yes very good the rightful inheritors of the earth who is the author of the story yes vaikal muhammad bashir students hope you all read the text am i right so i want to ask you some questions all of you listen carefully and find out the answers for the questions the first question is why did the author think of a scientific way of living students can you tell me the answer the author believed that the earth belongs to all the creatures it is harm to kill them so he needed a new scientific way of living that helps to live without killing any living creature look at the next question who were destroying the coconuts yes very good the bats were destroying the coconuts students now shall we move on to the rest of the story okay all of you take page number 83 students all of you pause the video and read page number 83 and 84 hope you all read the text now i'll give you a modal reading of the two paragraphs all of you listen carefully and find out the difficult words after dusk huge bats came in swarms and flew straight to the palms where the tender coconuts hung clinging to the outer coverings of the coconuts they gnawed into them from the softest sides at the top when they had cut through the kernel within they sucked out the sweet nourishing water stored inside and flew away satisfied let's buy a gun said my wife we can shoot the bats the foxes and the polecats with it not me i said guns should never have been invented but alas a few days later my wife's cousin turned up with a grim looking gun he said nearly 3000 coconuts are destroyed every day these bats are the pest but there is no point in shooting bats down at the spot on a little islet nearby stands an old temple next to it grow a pair of banyan trees You can see at least 3000 bats hanging on the twigs of the banyan trees. I am going to kill them all. Students, did you identify the difficult words? Okay, now shall we discuss those difficult words and their meanings? Dusk means evening. Swarms, a large number of insects or bees moving around together. Hung, attached. Cling. to hold on tightly no means to bite something hard kernel the inner edible part of a nut suck means sip nourish provide with the substances necessary for growth shoot means to kill polecat means a mammal grim very serious in appearance pest a destructive insect spot means a particular place or point islet means a small island twig means stem after evening big bats formed a group and they flew to the palms then they drank the water inside the coconut by piercing into the softest part on the top of it when they felt that they were satisfied they flew away At that time the author's wife said him let's buy a gun we can shoot the bats the foxes and the polecats when the author's wife said about killing the bats the author stood against that he didn't support this and said guns should never have been invented but after a few days her cousin came there with a gun and said that 
about 3000 coconuts are destroyed every day and he said that this is not the point to shoot the bats but there is an old temple in an island where a group of bats gather there on the banyan tree near to that temple so the cousin said that he is going to kill them all students hope you all understood this paragraph now shall we move on to the next paragraph all of you listen to these paragraphs i will give you a moral reading all of you identify the difficult words i prayed fervently oh bats bats save your lives it was astonishing it was a miracle the bats were saved my wife and her cousin came back in about 2 hours time looking really scared my wife said we just managed to escape narrowly there are some houses around the temple when we arrived at the place a hundred people with weapons surrounded us within minutes they looked menacing if we shot at the bats they said they would kill us do you know why they believe that bats are the souls of their ancestors i took a decision then i said firmly bats are no ancestors of us but they are among god's countless creations let the coconuts be destroyed that doesn't matter let us be satisfied with what is left after they have taken their share they certainly have a right to the coconuts all living beings are the rightful inheritors of the earth students now shall we discuss the new words and their meanings fervently means showing strong or intense feelings astonish means surprise miracle wonder scared frightened narrowly closely weapon means object used to destroy something menacing seeming likely to cause harm or danger soul the spiritual part of human being ancestor a forefather formally means forcefully countless means uncountable now it's time for the explanation when the author's wife and her cousin went to shoot the bats the author prayed deeply to save the lives of the bats so what happened the god heard his prayer it was a miracle that the bats were saved Oda's wife said to him that when they arrived at the place a hundred people with weapons surrounded them and they managed to escape from them then the people gathered there said that they will kill them if they shoot at the bats here both of them frightened so the author said that those people believe that bats are the souls of their ancestors then he added that bats are not our ancestors but they are among god's creations the author didn't feel any sadness on the destruction of coconuts he advised that we have to share what is left in this earth he concluded that all living beings are the rightful inheritors of the earth students we concluded this lesson the rightful inheritors of the earth with a sentence that all living beings are the rightful inheritors of the earth so hope you all enjoyed this lesson am i right so we will discuss the activities based on this chapter in the next class what you have to do is read this lesson thoroughly thank you dear children